So uh, here comes George Foreman. And here comes George Foreman. He is 40 years old. He says 39. The ring record book and his birth date indicate that he is 40 years old. Archie Moore, the former light heavyweight champ, his chief advisor with the hats there to the left of George Foreman. The old mongoose. John, I have to throw in something interesting. You know that uh, uh, one of Foreman's opponents uh, on, on uh, January 26, 1970, I believe, was a man named Jack O'Halloran in uh, the latest Chuck Norris movie, uh, Hero and the Terror. The Terror is portrayed by Jack O'Halloran. I, did, I didn't know that. You know, George Foreman is battling age. No question about it. He has a lot of friends here as he gets a standing ovation. But you look at the history of the sport Harold Letterman and his man Archie Moore there you see him in the background fought well into his 40s until he was 49 as a matter of fact Archie's now 75 and Charlie Shipes another uh, former great fighter uh, also working the corner for George Foreman George has a good corner he has his uh, brother Robert as well that's the third man in the corner with the uh, former heavyweight champion of the world more history to pass along. Joe Walcott beat Ezra Charles for the title at 37. Liston didn't even win until he was 30. So George Foreman thinks he can beat Father Time. And certainly at 242, nothing like the 325 pounds that he weighed in at when his comeback began. Now let's go ringside for the fighter introductions. Here is Wally Jackson. Fight night at the Palace brings us to our main Ten rounds of boxing in the heavyweight division. This bout is sanctioned by the Michigan State Athletic Board of Control. Dr. Stuart E. Kirschenbaum, chairperson. Our man in control is Mr. Bobby Watson. Introducing first in the red corner, standing six foot three inches tall. He weighed in at 213 pounds. As a professional, he has 14 wins, two losses. From Chicago, Illinois, let's hear it for Bobby, the Hitman, Hits! Hits! Well, the people in Detroit don't like the fact that Hits uses the name. And his opponent in the blue corner, standing six foot four inches tall. He weighed in at 242 pounds. And a professional he has 56 wins 54 by knockout with two defeats he hails from marshall texas and he is the former heavyweight champion of the world i give you george tonight in Auburn Hills, Michigan. George Foreman fought 47 times before he was retired by Jimmy Young back in 1977, was out for 10 years, then he made his comeback last year. This is fight number 12 and the comeback trail of George Foreman. Certainly, if nothing else, John, he's uh, been very, very active on his comeback. I mean, uh, he fought three weeks ago. George Foreman coming off a win in Florida over Ladisau Bihangos. That lasted two rounds, his longest bout. Cowie went seven this year. That was on March 29th when he beat Dwight Cowie in Las Vegas. Here we go, the first of ten rounds. Heavyweight George Foreman, 242 against Bob Hits, 213. Bob comes out doing just what he said he was going to do. He's circling to the left. Now he comes back to the right. Now he goes to the left. He's not he's not moving to form of the role. As a matter of fact, Bobby Watson, the referee's got to get out of the way. <laughs> With that change of direction, he's keeping Bobby hopping. Well, people just... talk about the speed herald of George Foreman and lack of reflexes. He has never been a dancer or a mover. He has no. been a puncher. No, he's and he looks very nonchalant. As a matter of fact, this is the way he always begins his fights. Very businesslike, very slow and easy. Right. He's very slow and he's very ponderous. He, he doesn't do much in the first round. He's not a first-round fighter. Uh, on his comeback, he, you know, 
uh, he'll throw one punch and uh, that's about it, you know. Uh, even if he does any damage, it's like he doesn't want to hurt you. He, he'll hit you one time and step back and hit you one time and step back and, and basically weigh you down. Even though he has those early knockouts, he, he really hasn't been jumping on opponents. Uh, good, good hard, stiff left jab, which knocked hits back. You know, it's almost comical in, in the standpoint that it looks like a man against a boy. All of his opponents are smaller than he is. George Foreman will never get back down to the 210, 215, 220 range even. I would say this is about as low as he may get. He does run a lot. He runs about six miles every day if possible. Has a good diet, fish, vegetables. He has a clean liver. Never took much abuse in his long career. That may be one thing going for him, Harold. He has never taken a lot of heavy punches, except for the one that Ali delivered, of course, as everybody remembers in Kinshasa Zaire. Well, certainly the Ron Lyle fight was a brutal fight. We all remember that. But uh, I agree with you. He, 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 uh, he's a man who, you know, didn't take a lot of punches throughout his career. He's landed a few good solid shots here. Hits his, starting, hits his face is starting to turn red. And already the Not left. good hard left jab. Yeah. Backing up Bobby Hits. And when Hits attacks, he bounces off George Foreman. And oh. the left and the left again. Boy, that left and right. Did you see that fast combination? <laughs> hard left jab by George Foreman. I hate to say this, John, but I don't think this is going too far. George is hitting them hard. Well, they've all been mismatches, no question about it. That's why everybody's so eager to see George get in. Whether Pink Gonzalez and Carl oh. Williams and Orland oh. Norris, and there's some question as to whether that hits his head back, as to whether that fight was actually going to come off. Norris wanted to fight Foreman. Foreman never went to the ring against Orland Norris. Oh, the right hand trumpet hits. What a shot. What a right hand. And oh. Bobby hits his out, and he is in some other place as he gets counted out now by referee Bob Watson. And that is it at the end of the first round. It's all over. Short work of Bob Hits, and he's upset about it, but how can you go much longer against a guy like George Foreman? And George Foreman, one of the kindest people you will want to meet. He is still active with his church down in Houston, Texas. He offers words of consolation to Bob Hitz, but man, oh man, the left jab and then the combinations that put Foreman to the canvas. And we will try and have Harold Letterman work his way ringside to get an interview with George Foreman. First the right that almost turns the head around of Bobby Hitz, and he goes down, takes a mouthful of a blue canvas. And then later on, as time was running out in round one, another intense blow to the head of Bob Hitz, who at that point was wondering what this was all about. And then again, and you hear the reaction from the fans who are watching it on the replay screen here at the Palace at Auburn Hills. So they saw it again for a second and third time as you did too and Archie Moore a man who himself defeated the odds and fought well into his 40s thinks that this comeback story can continue